so first we create an html file and name as index.html and now let's start this format and we name this website as a new website now in the body section first we create a navbar and then a section so in this navbar first and before that we are going to make it a side by side window so you can see it clearly so let's make it a side by side window okay just wait a second yeah now it's good now create a napper okay so in this napper i'm going to add a logo and in this logo i'm going to add a heading tag and name is okay so it's looking good let me refresh it yeah and after that add some links okay in this links we use a tag and uh, first link is home and then after that some more wait just let me finish this and at the last we use backyard okay so i think the uh, navbar is complete now we move to section so we are going to add this section okay for its second just me completely okay now here after navbar we are going to create a new section tag in this section i will give a class name container and inside this container i am going to add the content so first we take our h1 tag and create our heading design house okay then we use a paragraph tag and write some paragraph let me finish this so just to wait and watch then okay. as you can see our paragraph finish now we are going to create two buttons okay let me refresh it as you can see here uh, our heading and our paragraph is here you can see and now we create a uh, class name buttons and inside this button we are going to use two button first one is uh, watch more and second one is okay so you can see the html uh, our html work is done here and now it's time to style it so let's create a style.cs file so style.css style and first we link both um, uh, our style.css in our index.html so for linking i am using link tag and relation style set and in href we are going to give the uh, path of style okay now let's start the styling was to let uh, add this uh, universal tag in every section you know font family is sans serif and box sizing is bottom box there okay. here you can see now we are going to start and um, let's start with the body section body tag so in that inside the body i'm going to give the width of 100% and i top get we h okay and after that overflow will be hidden and let's add the background image so background image url is background here and let's set the background for the window so background position the way we center okay so, um, yeah center 
and the background size will be cover and background repeat is not okay it's looking good and now uh, we have to do one thing more as you can see the uh, background light is too much so we are going to make it uh, brightness low background brightness is we are going to use backdrop, backdrop filter for this so i will just lower the background back yeah now it's good so the content of our uh, text is highlighted now let's start to edit our nabba so for nabba um let's start uh in the nabba section width will be 100% and height i'm giving height will be 10 vh okay and displays flex okay so you can see the links and our logo is separated uh, not um, but it's separated now we separate it so for separation i'm going to use uh, justify content will be space between space around sorry space around okay so you can see here uh, space uh, is created and here also and at the end also okay and align item will be center okay so you can see the uh, space from top and bottom will be created now after this nav section you can see here uh, let's um, style this logo and then after that this link okay so for logo i'm going to let's uh, start this low okay for logo i'm giving color is uh, uh, code is 55 ff7 101 okay so you can see uh, it's orange type color okay now for links i'm going to uh, first and this let edit this links a bit so first uh, mm, position is relative i will tell you why for and now color is white okay text decoration is none and margin is zero from top bottom and 20 pixels from that right left okay and after that let me uh, just too much yeah it's good now now after margin font size will be 1.2 rem okay now it's looking good and after that let uh, add the hover effect uh, so links a and i'm going to add before okay content will be nothing and position is absolute uh, bottom is minus 3 pixels and left is 0 ok now width will be 100 pixel 100% and height is 3 pixels ok after that border uh, border radius is 50 pixels uh, I know you can't see anything any changes but I will show you and background color is same as the color of the logo okay now you can see uh, a line created in, uh, if you don't use this relative tag you can see nothing will happen because the position absolute uh, works for the whole uh, this page and if you use this relative it's only work with this uh, link okay now uh, we i can i will use transform scale is zero for now okay and one more transition for transform 0 0.2 seconds linear okay now let's create a hover effect so links a hover for before and transform scale is one okay so now you can see when i hover you can see the underline is coming out and now we are going to design this uh, wonderful section tag so let's start with the section tag 
and our navbar is finished so now I start with section so first we design this container and then this uh, heading tag then paragraph and then after that buttons okay so first let's uh, start this with the section tag so in the section tag uh, display uh, first width will be 100% and I'm going to give the height of 60 vh okay and now to make the um, this container in the center I'm going to give display flex and justify content center and align item center okay so you can see the um, design uh, sorry design not on um, that um, content is in the center but not too much because the you can see here uh, this paragraph is too long so if we sort the paragraph width and so the uh, if you sort the paragraph width the uh, content will be in the center okay so not no need to worry so let's start with section dot container and inside the container display will be flex and uh, flex direction i'm going to column okay now after that align item center and just tip by content center okay i'm going to make the color will be white okay now you can see design uh, is in the center but i have to uh, lower the width of paragraph okay so after that first after uh, container i will design this h1 tag so font size will be clamp i know you don't know about the clamp but i will tell you clamp is used to to make the responsive uh, text okay so I am going here minimum font size and after that I am going to dig and give the changes after uh, view width how much view width the um, font size will be increased or decreased so I am giving, I'm giving 6 view width and then I'm going to give the maximum font size how much the maximum font size will be so 3.5 rm okay um let me make it okay sorry for that yeah now it's, you can see here the design here in this um, content is too much uh, bigger but when I going and check the responsive you can see the according to the width it changes means it's lower is uh, font size and then increases font size according to the width okay so it's a very advanced technique to make responsive without using media query okay so use it in your 